Less work, more time. That's what Patreon is about. You want to be in, you want to be out. You want to have, you want to have the rest. You want to have more time to do other things that you love, right? Training is just that tool that brings in the money, but it shouldn't take up like 50% of your week. It should maybe take up like 10, 25% of your week at most. And the rest should just be you doing other things in your life, right? Training shouldn't be 21st, like, shouldn't be your whole life though. Just rinse and repeat, right? You should, you, do you, uh, Recommend turning only off the four account data because my friend trades with one minute candles and I don't know if he just gets lucky but it works for him. Um, it isn't really luck if it works for him. Like, and working for him doesn't mean, it doesn't mean like one trade, it doesn't mean a couple trades. It means like taking consecutive trades after consecutive months of profits. That's how you know if something works, not just one trade or one day or one week. It doesn't mean shit, right? And totally have months and months and months and months of the same data that holds up around the same percentage every month and yeah. Not lucky lucky is when lucky is if, if you're a new trader and you're trying out new strategies and you don't know what sample sizing is you don't know what consistency is you're just taking trades just to win that's what lucky is is that stage you got grind charts um yeah but like to be honest man like if i were if i were to restart i think spending like a couple hours a day on during like one session like the new york session like over time i'll, I'll, I'll understand i know it'll, it'll be much more simple journey that i've had <laughs> you know because i think the hard part the uh, hard part when people first start trading is picking their strategy choosing what works right for them but the more time you spend on trust the more time you overthink honestly i think a part of it is, is just the start it depends on the start who who brought you into the into fx and who are you going to follow because that could save you a lot of time or or, or you know or make you uh, spend uh, more time searching um, for for other mentors and go mentor hopping and strategy hopping. I don't know. I wish I found myself when I first started trading though, because the reason why I stream and the reason why I, I, I we have like a spreadsheet and all this shit is because when I first started trading, there was no one out there, literally no one out there that could explain why and everything they do. From drawing support to taking positions to understand what this wick means, what that wick means, to this candle, to that candle. No one under, no one explained that for me. Through sample sizing, um, I got to where I got, right? But yeah, no one no one explained that shit for me when I first started trading at all. And there was like any, any charge out there, like even like for example, like no offense, but other trades out there too. When you're talking about fibs and shit, like if I were to ask them what does the fib mean? Aside from it being a PRZ zone or like a price reversal zone or a uh, 38.2, 6.8, like what does that mean? Like why, what's so special about that level and why is it not this level instead? Like like there's no there's no steps to it. It's so more so just like this is this is what it is. Just do this. There's no like proof. There's no data. Like there's no no sample sizing. Even like drawing trend lines when I first started trading too. It's just like why do you draw it here? For example, like why do you draw it here, but then why do you adjust it here after? Like why is there so many adjustments, right? So it's just, it's just those things that I never understood. Um, but once I understood, like in trading, that there has to be a why to everything you do, trading became a lot more simple because you didn't have there was no guessing involved. It was just like you see this, okay, this is what it means. You go ahead and do this. There was like no questions asked. So everything I do now is just it's, it's all answered, right? Like for example, why did I draw support here? Well, because there was a lot of rejections here to the left, and price never closed below here. So if it closes below here, what happens? It would drop down, right? Um, why do you have uh, why is what why does no top wick mean you don't take a trade? Well, because it becomes lower. There's a lower probability of price driving up due to the fact that if you were to break down four one hour candles, so four uh, uh, four hour candle, um, those candles will indicate you a range. But when there's no wick or when there's no candle wick, there's no range. On a small time frame to drive up so therefore price has a higher chance of just rejecting and ranging therefore i would not take a trade right it's just like that, that's what i mean though like anything you ask me about my strategy or our strategy we can literally just explain and then there's not one question that where we can't explain in full depth in detail so that's why that's why 
we started doing what we did. We, we, uh, we started doing rants, so we started streaming and stuff. That's why we have this.